Alright everybody, it's Henry Weeder man. So what I'm doing is I'm working on idle arm. I'm getting ready to put the new bearings in. I got them in the freezer freezing. I'm heating this up, so that's an old bearing. And then I, my plan is to drop it in there and then slightly, I got a, a persuader and my hammer ready. And then I'll push it down in there even with the race. So I got about 30 seconds on here. All right, let's go get the frozen bearing. <laughs> it's been in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Frozen bearing. Nice and cold. Cross your fingers. I'll throw a little more heat on it real quick. It's frozen. You can see it steaming over there. Gonna lost too much heat. I might have to persuade it a little bit. I'm hoping I don't have to. Cross my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna switch. Or get put my heat on. It's hot. Look at that. Dead even. And I got to put a second one in. The second one's fun because there's nothing to grip onto with a vice. And it's hot. So I'm going to heat it up again. The other one's frozen too. It's going to be fun trying to get that second aisle arm bearing off. I went through heck getting this one out. Penetrate no oil, heat, penetrate no heat. And then I used my um, pulley puller. As an afterthought, and I use it as a bearing pusher. Okay, All right, I want to heat that bearing out. Of the you can see how easy I tapped it in there. That's what you want. I'll kind of stay on the outside of this. Don't take much. You want it probably a thousandth, a thousand millimeter of bearing. It's two. Style arms with two bearings. Kind of confusing when I got them, and I've never worked on this before. First time on this. Learned something new. Alright, I'll be right back. Go get that bearing. I know it hasn't dropped too much temperature. It hasn't gone that long. Just a 10 point 30 seconds. But getting some more heat. Like I said, I'm going to put it in there and then I'll tap it into place. I don't got much, too much time. Got my tool. Bingo. Got it before my vice let go. And it's hot. Try to re, try to regrip it. Sorry about all this. I'm not really set up for this mess. I just want to get down there just a little bit more. There it goes. All right, we got it. So I got two bearings in pretty quick without being barbaric with a hammer and a heat and stuff. Look at flush. Nice. So then when you put it back in, pulley's facing up. This bushing goes in here. That goes in there and then your bolt that pulls it to the deck goes up through. Just like that. Spring goes on the bottom. Well, there we go. Bearings installed an idle arm on a Skag Tiger Cat. 52 inch cut. That's how I did it. 
And uh, I'll try to show you some video when I try to get these other bearings out on the other idle on the I'm going to put this on and keep on moving.